Ever wondered what to do when your laptop falls into water? Panic, right? But what if you could fix it yourself? In the next few minutes, we're going to dive into the crucial steps to salvage a water-damaged laptop. Time is of the essence, and having the right know-how can be the difference between a total loss and a minor hiccup. So, let's not waste any more time. This video will guide you through the necessary steps to rescue your laptop from a watery grave. The first thing to do when your laptop takes a dive is to power it off immediately. This isn't just about saving your work, it's about saving your laptop. Electricity and water are a dangerous combination, and keeping the power on could lead to a short circuit, causing irreparable damage to your device. If your laptop has a removable battery, take it out. This is another source of electricity that could potentially harm your machine. It's crucial to stop the flow of power to reduce the risk of further damage. Next, disconnect all peripherals. This includes your mouse, headphones, or any USB devices. These could also be at risk and should be set aside for separate cleaning. Lastly, gently shake your laptop. This isn't a magic trick. It's an attempt to dislodge any excess water that might be hiding in the nooks and crannies. Now that you've taken these immediate measures, it's time to dry your laptop. Drying your laptop properly is the key to its survival. Avoid using a hairdryer as it can cause further damage. Let's start with the exterior. Using a soft dry cloth, gently wipe down the laptop. This helps remove any surface moisture and prevents further seepage into the internal components. Be sure to get into those nooks and crannies as water has a sneaky way of hiding in the most unexpected places. Next, we move on to the interior. For this, we'll need to enlist the help of silica gel packets or uncooked rice. These are excellent at absorbing moisture and can be placed around the laptop, creating a dry environment to help speed up the drying process. However, don't forget the golden rule, patience is key. Give your laptop a minimum of 48 hours to dry out completely. The waiting might be hard, but it's crucial. Remember rushing this process could lead to permanent damage. Once your laptop has had ample time to dry, it's time to inspect and clean it. Begin by carefully opening up your laptop. Make sure you're grounded to avoid static electricity, which could potentially cause more harm. Look for any visible moisture or signs of damage, especially on the motherboard, it's the heart of your laptop after all. Now, you might come across some hard-to-reach places that your towel just can't get to. This is where compressed air comes into play. Use it to blow out any residual moisture from these tight spots. Remember, patience is key. Next up is cleaning. Over time, water can cause corrosion on your laptop's components. To tackle this, use a gentle wipe with isopropyl alcohol. It's great for removing any corrosion or residue that might have been left behind by the water. After a thorough clean, it's time for the moment of truth, powering up your laptop. Now that your laptop is dry and clean, it's time to power it up. Reassembling the laptop might seem like a daunting task, but don't worry. You've handled every step so far with finesse, and this is just another piece of the puzzle. Start by carefully putting back all the components you've removed and dried. Make sure every piece fits snugly in its place. Once everything is in, it's time to reinsert the battery. Take a deep breath and hit the power button. Now don't fret if your laptop doesn't spring to life immediately or if there are a few hiccups at the start. This is normal. Some residual moisture might still be evaporating and this could cause temporary glitches. Give it a little time. Your laptop might just need to shake off the last vestiges of its unexpected swim. However, if your laptop still doesn't power up after a reasonable amount of time, or if you notice persistent issues, it might be time to call in the experts. A professional can open up parts of the laptop you couldn't reach and they might be able to salvage more than you think. And there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide to saving your water-damaged laptop. Remember, quick action, patience, and careful cleaning are your best friends in this process.